Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. So today we're going to look at Google Alerts, and this is a really great feature um, that you can set up, and it, what it does is anything that will show up, you can pick it by topic, and anything that will show up in the Google search, it'll send you an email, and you can set up how, that e how often that email is sent. Right. And so instead of going every day and searching, let's say you're um, following some news story. Instead of searching for it every day, you can go set up an alert and it'll just send you an email. That's right. And yeah. it's a free service from Google, so it's really nice. Yeah. Um, you could use it. Um, one, one good thing to use it for is mentions of your own name. So you can right. see Seems where you might, you. you might show up online. <laughs> or where you are. Right? Yeah, yeah. Where you are online. Um, hobbies, maybe to keep up on your favorite um, athletes or celebrities. celebrities. Right. Yeah, if you're so a Kardashian fan. So many different <laughs> things you can do. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down and we're going to go into to our web browser. We're using Google Chrome today. Mm -hmm. And we're going to come up and we're going to just type in alerts.google.com. Mine's coming up because I've been going there. Um, and that's the way to get there. So it brings up this nice page for alerts, mm -hmm. um, and the first thing that we need to talk about is signing in, because you have to decide what email you want these alerts to go to. Okay. Okay. If you um, have a Gmail account, it's the best way to do it, because you can go in and you can modify the alerts, and okay. you can see you all more your controls. alerts. controls. Right. If you don't have, want to use your Gmail account or your Google um, email address... Right. Then um, you can you don't still have as much control. You right? don't. You can still set them up, but it'll send you an email, and it'll say, um, you know, it'll let you activate the the search, and you can deactivate it from an email. But you can't go on the web browser and look at it again sure. or change it. So and G to get a Gmail email address is free. It is. It's yeah. free and it's easy. So I'm just going to go to sign in, and um, I have a couple of them, so I can just pick the one I want to use. Okay. It's already keeping my password, and I'm just going to log in. And now you can see I've got we've got our Sync Sisters logo up here in the We're upper right. We're signed in now, right? We're signed in, and it added um, another section here called Me on the Web. So okay. the first thing it does is it shows you um, Oops, on the sorry. screen. That's okay. <laughs> Leave your trackpad alone. Um it shows you alerts. Here's how we're going to create one. But the, I'm just going to show you this section here is My Alerts. So this is showing you Ones you had set up. Right, and we only have the one yep. set up iPhone 8, I can't wait. Um, yep, release date. That's what I want to know. Yep. So here's me on the web. Um, so if you're logged in, you'll have this section, and it'll oh. show you the name associated with your Google account and your Google account. And you can just click plus, and it's going to create an alert for my name. Yeah. And plus, one I want to know when my name shows well, up places, right? I do too. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm in a news article, I want to. Although know about sadly, it. I set that up months ago, and I get no alerts. <laughs> <laughs> I'll write something about yeah, it. Yeah, good. Um, anyway, we'll talk about all kinds of modifiers where you can look in different places. Right. So we'll, we'll look at that. Um, the next section down is a suggested area, which okay. we'll, we'll take a look at later how to, you know, it's just basically putting up suggestions for right. you. Um, by different categories, companies, finance. Oh, that's finance. awesome, though. Yeah, Beyonce, movies. who doesn't want to follow Beyonce? Right, right. <laughs> or sports. Are... I mean, I think a lot of people are into sports. Sure, exactly. <laughs> or Snapchat. I mean, who doesn't want yeah. to know and anything new about, you know, who's going to buy it? Whatever. This is really a great feature, though. I love yeah. it. Yeah, it really is nice. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to create an alert. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go down here to see where I want it to do. So the first one I want to do is I'm kind of interested in the Zika virus, okay? Okay. I'm not really sure what's going on with it. And it's I want confusing. To be, yeah. So I just type in Zika virus. <laughs> and you virus. might have a trip coming up to an area a, where it's really a problem. Right. And maybe perhaps you're, you're pregnant. That's right. when it's a really bad right. deal, right? Well, you're trying to be pregnant. Right. right. So what it's showing you here down, now I typed in Zika virus. Now it's showing me an alert preview. So I can see what kinds of things I'm going to okay. get on the Zika virus. Now, there's That's a, a, lot, of a stuff. lot out there. And I really only am interested in if they're going to come out with a vaccine. Right. So I'm going to add vaccine to it. And you can see that my results are much better. Oh, perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and, and keep so, that wording. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to go down here. And we can just create the alert. Or we can look at the options, which is a good idea. Uh -huh. Okay. So first, we can say, how often do I want to see this email? Okay, at most once a day, at most once right. a week. So if it's something you're casually yeah. following, um, or as it happens, that's going to every time something new comes yeah. on, and that would be good. Maybe you're watching a company for your stocks, right. and what are they doing? Right. I don't know. Maybe right. you want it as it happens. Yeah. So we're going to do it um, at most once a day. Yeah. Sources, automatic. It's going to look at all these things. 
mm-hmm. but maybe I only want to see things in blogs. Okay. I don't want to see it when it's on a website. I want to see people talking about it. Oh, good. Or I want That's to a good only, idea. Yeah, I only want to see news articles. I only want to see videos. Perfect. So many different things. Oh, I love things. it. This yeah. is really great. Discussions. I feel like this is like the hidden secret. It is. I know. It's really cool. <laughs> Nobody knows about it. Yeah. Language. Maybe I only want English or maybe I want any language. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm a multilingual person. Sure. Or I want to follow. Like your husband. Yeah. Or I want to follow things that are happening in Germany. So I'm going to go down and put German in instead. I only okay. want German articles. Uh, region. Again, that's, you know, you can yep. any region, which is what normally you would do, I guess. Um, how many? Only the best results or all results. <laughs> Only the very best is what we want. Not I'm not really, really sure what that means, not but sure what I that would... <laughs> algorithm is. Let's just do all results and see what happens. <laughs> and then deliver to, and here's the email. Right. Now you also can deliver it to an RSS feed, oh, okay. which will basically allow you to view it um, in kind of a list as things are updated. RSS feeds is a whole other topic, but know that if you're into that, you can also have it as an RSS feed. Um, And then go ahead and create the alert. That's it. So now we've got our Zika virus vaccine alert up here. Okay. Now we're going to create one more to show another um, way of doing it. Now I have horses and I am into this thing called Paddock Paradise Oh, and what is a Paddock Paradise? Well, it's a track system for horses. Yeah, it's amazing. Everybody likes following it. They don't stay in their stalls. You create a path where they live more naturally and move around. It's awesome. It is awesome. But anyway. I like to find out more information about that when it comes on because I've pretty much exhausted everything that's out there. Um, and if I just type in Paddock Paradise, look at the look what I'm getting. I'm not really getting Paddock Paradise. I'm getting things yeah. from the Derby, oh. um, a Hastings Paddock sale. <laughs> I, you know, I just want Paddock Paradise. Yeah, so, the actual thing. So what you can do is you can use any of the Google search operators here in this area. Right. So, for example, if I put quotes around Paddock Paradise, it's going to look for things that say Paddock Paradise. Oh, now, now my yep. results are much better. Now, you, you talk about the Google um, search parameters. Yeah. Um, we have a great video on we that, do. We Google have search, and we will link below because there's so many ways you can control right. what shows up in your search. Right. So check that out because you can set it up anyway. So I'm going to go ahead, and with this one, um, I would like to know it most once a day, and I'm going to create the alert, and now we have that. You can see that there. Um, so, so once you have your alerts set up, mm-hmm. um, there's some things you can do with them. If you see um, next to each one, there's a pencil, and that yeah. usually means you can edit it. If I click on it, I could go in and change things about it. Right. Right. Um, the other thing, oh, I'm in the alert. Oh, that was that was weird. Just I think just cancel it. Cancel that. Yeah. Okay. The other thing is you can delete it. Right. Nice and simple. Simple. And then um, the settings. Right. If you click on settings, you can change your delivery time or uh, if it will be in one email or yeah, you several. get one email for yeah. all of your right. Um, that alerts. would be the digest. That would be the digest and you can tell it when you want yep. it to do it or a delivery time. Yep. You can say, no, I want to get them in the morning. I want to yep. get them at night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very specific with Very your specific alerts. Specific with your alerts. I'm going to go ahead and cancel. Yeah. And then um, down in the suggested area, if you like one of these, like maybe you're yeah, following Amazon, Amazon, yeah, click on it, boom, and now it's up here. There it's it one is. of my alerts. And so you, that's very easy to right. do. And note that when you do these kind of alerts down here, it just created it. If you want it, then you'd have to go in and edit the options. Sure, right. Yeah. Go to so, your edit. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So it doesn't like, it just creates it. Yeah. And then you got to close yeah. out of it. Right. All right. right. So now let's go and take, that's really all it is. That's all there is Simple. about it. And you can see Simple, that if, yet complex. if you didn't log in and use your Gmail, a Gmail account, a Google account, you, you wouldn't be able, able to control all this stuff. It would just back. give you the defaults and yeah. Yeah. And if you lose that email, if you delete it, I don't know how you would get rid of it right. then because you have to have that in order to modify it. Yeah. So we're going to go down and we're going to go into mail in the Mac and it's going to come up and you're going to see all these alerts. Oh, so in, in, in this account, look at all these Google, um, these iPhone 8 release date yeah. alerts. They're and coming like every 20 minutes. <laughs> I can see there, point out that you have it as as it happens. Right. And you can see right here, it says iPhone 8 release date as it happens update. Right. It's got everything here. and then So that means it's anytime, you know, throughout the day. That's right. why there's so many emails. Exactly. And here, the iPhone 8 will come out with a big... So then you can look through and you can go, oh, yeah, 
Yeah, and you can click on it. It'll take you into that article. It's just great. It's really nice. Um, and you can see here are the ones that we just created. Here's the Amazon one, and it says yeah. it's going to be a daily update. And it's showing me where it's coming in. In finance, there was this information, oh, which is kind of nice because yeah. it shows you the stock price, right? Yeah. So you can check the stock price and all the articles that happen to show up about it. And it'll, it'll categorize them here. These are coming in blogs down here. Oh, These are on the on web. The web. So it's a yep. really, really nice feature. Um, and again, we didn't do one that was a di digest, but if you wanted to, you know, then they would all come in one and they would be that, separated out. I would out. like that, yeah. If you yeah. start getting a lot of alerts, you might want that. Exactly, right. So, so I just think it's a really great way to keep up on uh, up to date on topics that you're interested in, that you like. You don't have to go search for them. You just get served up an email every day. That's right. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.